If you are in your 30s, there are six things you must know about money. By the time you're in your 30s, you can no longer claim to just not care about it or to think about your money later on or think that you've got plenty of time. It's time to wise up and today I'm gonna walk you through the six things you need to know about money when you're in your 30s. Number one, first you have to smash those self-limiting beliefs. So much of the things that we do are tied to our negative beliefs or our negative thoughts. So if you're thinking things like, I'll never be able to get out of my student loan debt, or I'll never be able to save money for a vacation, those types of things are harming your ability from taking steps towards achieving those goals. Good news, I have a freebie in the description box below talking about how to untangle your cognitive distortions. So if you haven't grabbed that yet, be sure to click on that in the description box. Number two, you must know about credit. Not just your credit report, but also your credit score. And it doesn't matter if you feel like you want to pay cash for everything and credit doesn't matter. The reality is that having a good credit score means that you are going to be more desirable when it comes to things like finding a new apartment, when it comes to things like purchasing a car or maybe even a house. If you have good credit, what that is telling the lenders is that you are worthy of getting a loan and getting it at a decent rate. The worse your credit is, the more likely it is that you'll get denied for things like loans or credit cards. Or if you are approved, you might get terms that aren't so great. So you want to make sure that you know what your credit is. You can check it out um, at a bunch of different websites, Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, annualcreditreport.com. Yes, know your credit score, know what's on your credit report. Make sure there's nothing fraudulent on there. Number three, life insurance. This is one of those things that people get freaked out about. They think it's a scam. Um, they don't wanna think about it because it means you have to think about death or dying. But the reality is that having life insurance helps to protect you and your loved ones. It's especially important if you have children or if you have a partner, to, you want to make sure that you're insured for enough so that if something were to happen to you, your family, your partner would be able to continue life um, as they already are able to live it now. Number four is make sure you are investing in retirement. Um, Erin Lowry has a new book out called Broke Millennial Takes on Investing, and she talks about the importance of making sure that we're switching the language we use from saving for retirement to investing for retirement. And by the time you're in your 30s, um, the general rule of thumb is you want about two times your annual salary already invested in your retirement account. Um, so make sure to look up things like your 401k or 403b if you have an employer. If you are self-employed, you can look into things like a SEP or a solo 401k, and anyone can look into whether or not they meet criteria for a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. So make sure that you are investing in your retirement. Number five is to pay off all debts. I know this one is controversial and I know some people say that it's fine to keep your debt because especially if you have a low interest rate, you can probably earn more in the stock market. So it's, it's fine, keep your debt. I argue the opposite. For many of us, debt acts as a barrier and it pulls us down even if it's just emotionally or mentally. So the more we can throw money at your debt, the better off you're going to be. Number six is make sure that you're having fun with your money. Set aside money so that you can buy things in a way that feel intentional and feel really good for you. So carve out a savings account that is just for things like travel or clothes or beauty or cars or whatever your hobby is. Make sure that you're still treating yourself and spending money on things that matter to you. So in your 30s, you want to make sure that you are spending money that is fun money on things that you want to spend it on. So yes, I want you to put some money towards your debt. I want you to be saving in your retirement accounts, but I also want you to be having fun. So those are the six things you need to know about money when you are in your 30s. Don't forget I have that freebie down below about untangling cognitive distortions, especially when it comes to your money. And I will see you over in the next video.